If you don't already have it open, go ahead and open up our contact page. Before we get started with images, because that's why we're here, I've got to do something up front. I have got to do a spell check because I am convinced this word is not spelled correctly and I don't know how to spell it. And I want to be completely frank with you here. Programs that not only spell check for you, but change the words as you're typing them have completely ruined me for spelling anything. Now, I don't think there is an excuse for a misspelled word because of the programs we have. Grammar, that's eh, another thing. But all you got to do is come up here to the word commands and say check spelling. And there it is, my shame. I'm going to say change quickly. Now, it wants to check the whole document. I'm going to say yeah. Well, that's it. Okay, so it got everything. I am now happy. My long nightmare is now over. Let's go ahead and work with what we have. We need images, but we don't have any place to put the images yet. So I want you to add some cells, and I want them to the left of these. So click in any one of these three areas, any one of these three cells. Just click in there. Now go up to the word modify in the pull-down menu and go down to table and select insert rows or columns. Now I want one column before the current column. Click OK. Now they're not very big, obviously, but they're big enough. They'll change when we put the images in there. I don't want images quite that small. Go into your images right here. Go into Faculty, and you will find a new folder called Thumbnails. Now we have two for Discipline, two for General, and two for Headmaster. Let's start with Headmaster, the first one. Drag it from here over into here. Now you can see it's going to get bigger. Don't worry about it yet. Okay, so that's the Headmaster. Let's go ahead and pull up our General right here, the first one, and stick it, of course, in here. And the last one is Discipline. Hmm. Let's put that one right in here. Okay, so far so good. Now I want to use the rollovers. The second one's kind of like if you roll over it, it shows you a photograph of the actual person. So let's do this. Let's select this one first. Go into Behaviors. Now if you don't see it, go to the word Window and get it. Now with this one over here selected, go ahead and click here and say Swap Image. We've been here before. We could have named these, but I know which one I want. It's the one that's selected. I'm going to click Browse, Images, Faculty, Thumbnails, Headmaster 2. Go ahead and click Open, and click OK. Let's do the next one. Repetition is the key to learning things sometimes. It's also boring, too. That's general. Okay, one more, and that's discipline. Browse. And getting into faculty again, down to thumbnails. And there's discipline, too. Open. Okay. Live. Let's see what we got here. Now we come down here. I wonder who the headmaster really is. Ah, that's right. It's Cary Grant. How about general questions? Rita Hayworth. And, of course, discipline, James Cagney. So we got images. We got rollovers. We're not done. I don't like them here. I want them more in the center. So let's go ahead and get out of live for a second. Let's go ahead and create a rule for those images. So let's come over here. Open up Designer and pull it out. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go into our table format right here and click plus sign, period, full stop, and let's call this image control. Again, we can select them over here right now and apply that class right now. That way, when we work on it, we can see what it does. Let's come back over here now. Actually, let's go live so we can see that way too. Let's go into image control. Now, the first thing I'm thinking of is giving it some space like above and below. So if we come over here into margins, actually, let's not do all of them. Let's just do the top and maybe just a little on the bottom. Actually, let's make that 10. 
I like even numbers. And down here, let's see what works. Actually, about five, maybe. Okay, let's move this back again for a second. And let's play around a little bit more with some of this text. Now, I've got some text I'm going to copy-paste inside of these so you don't have to kind of watch me tediously type away. That's why it's going to come up so fast. I'm really not that fast of a typer. Let me select this and put it in. Actually, get off live, Andy. That might help. The headmaster is here and ready to answer all of your natty little questions. Okay, let me come down here and do the same thing here. Copy, paste. Again, don't worry about the way it moves around as we change things. Okay, do you have any questions regarding school activities, closings, or other general questions? And finally, down here, for discipline, believe me when I say that you never, ever want to contact this man. So we've got all this text in here. Now, there are other things that we can do. For example, if I come over here and kind of get into the cell itself, there's some shifting in things that I can do by moving these little lines. And you can also do it up here if you want to. Clear column width. That'll fit it in for you. And then we could work with these, maybe add some more text in. This one I think I want a little bit bigger, though. Maybe something like that. So we probably do need some more text in here. We'll go ahead and leave it the way it is. Maybe fill that up just a little bit more with some words. But the table itself, let's go ahead and go back to live, is beginning to shape up. Let's go ahead and save what we have and close. Don't forget to save the CSS.